What's up, it's your boy Zay back with another video. And in this video, I wanna go over the top five tips for working at Walmart third shift. I appreciate the subscribes, the comments, the likes. Y'all know I'm on the road to a thousand. If y'all could just continue, man, I would appreciate it. You know, I'm trying to get monetized on my channel. I'm trying to keep providing y'all with content, you know, that you guys would like or that is, you know, necessary for you guys as far as your career or if you're thinking about working or doing one of the, you know, previous careers that I've done, you know, I shed a little bit of insight on that. But we're gonna start with the number five tip, work our way down to number one. So the number five tip that I have for you is don't steal. So when you work in third shift, it's no customers in the store. Your team lead, they're not gonna be around you all the time. They're gonna be managing other areas and other people in the store that's also working. So we had an issue with this where the team leads, they would find like empty candy wrappers, empty juice bottles, stuff like that, just on the shelf. And they would go back and they would run the camera and people used to get fired for that. You know, they, they I've seen people get fired over a bag of Doritos and a Sprite, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. And they're going to call the police. So, you know. That's just one of those things where, you know, it should be a given to not steal anyway. But, you know, being that you're working third shift, you know, in Walmart, you know, you don't want to have that on your record. You know, you don't want to have any theft, anything like that. You know, you don't want to be tempted to open a bag of Doritos while you're working. Just, just pay for them through the self-checkout. So, top five. Number five is don't steal. Number four is work by yourself. So it was a lot of people where I was working at, they would work in like groups of six and seven, you know, cause they were friends, but they would talk, you know, and you know, production would go down. And then it got to the point where you had one or two people, they were just connected at the hip all the time all the time and it's hard to separate yourself or it's hard to you know get where you have to go i'm talking as far as like job title wise or pay grade wise when you got another person stuck to your hip so it's nothing wrong with having you know friends I, me personally when i go to work i go to work you know to feed my family i'm not going there to you know make friends and things like that so working by yourself is going to probably be the number four tip just because your your team lead is going to see you always by yourself working. And it just puts you in a good light. You know what I mean? It puts you in a better position. Um, makes you a little bit more approachable if you're always by yourself working. You know, and they're, they're perfectly fine with that. You know, they don't mind you having the headphone in, working by yourself, and just working all night. It's going to go by smoothly like that. Trust me. I've done the research, just work by yourself. The third tip that I have from you is don't sleep on your break. On your one hour break, don't go to sleep and don't eat a big meal to where you will wanna go to sleep. So I've had people um, like, we'll be in the middle of the shift and you see, well, come through the side, little side door and they rub the eyes and it's been three hours from break and they're just waking up. So they were late clocking back in. Then they, you know, they, they overslept and now they got to sneak, figure out, hey, what section of the store are we working in? What are we doing? You know, so, you know, and some people, they just slept the whole rest of the night and they woke up, you know, when their shift was over. And, you know, we're coming out, and they're still in their car, passed out, asleep. So, you know, that's another thing. You don't want to go on a job, work a third shift. If you never worked third shift before, it's easy to fall asleep if you're not used to being up at nighttime. So don't eat a big meal. Don't go to sleep on your uh, on your hour break. Now, in my, in my video where I showed the overnight stocking video, um, how to work third shift, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I went to sleep on my 15-minute break. I know some people are going to get me in the comments like, hey, you went to sleep, you know, you... trust me, I was up enough to not be in a really deep sleep, you know, I'm sitting up, I'm not laying down, um, you know, I got three alarms set, you know, 
five minutes before it's time for me to clock back in. So, you know, that's probably if you do have to go to sleep, make sure you got like four or five alarms set and you got the phone like right here by your ear because, you know, it's hard to stay asleep. Just don't go to sleep. Number two is leave the opposite sex alone. So if you're a man working in there, I would say leave the females alone, advise, you know, whatever your preference is. If you're a female, you know, leave the guys alone. Just, you know, you don't want to get caught up in the work drama, you know. It was people there that had, you know, like sexual relations at the job. Not saying, you know, anything's wrong. I know plenty of people who've met their spouse at the workplace, but with the type of job that Walmart is where you're stocking, it's so much freedom to, you know, and it's not a lot of supervision to where if you're in there, you know, trolling the opposite sex or, you know, whatever sex you like all the time and, you know, you got your relationship in there and it's just, it's going to keep you eye off the ball, man. You're supposed to be in there, you're supposed to be making your money, you know, and then let's say you do get promoted. Let's say you're doing everything you're supposed to do. And you get promoted. Well, now it's work policy that managers cannot have relationships with the um, entry-level employees. If you're um, on the upper end of the, you know, if you're team lead or store supervisor or whatever, you can't, you can't fraternize with the workers that are entry level you have to you know it has to be management so you know you might as well not even not not even go there we've had people like leave they had people people leave on break you know with the opposite sex and they just don't come back or they come back late and it's just you don't you don't you want to stay focused remember it's a job so you know make sure you there to get your money you know you there to get your money you know, and then the number one tip that I have for you is to always work. Now, I know that seems simple, but I say that because a lot of people don't. A lot of people, they hide out in the bathroom. A lot of people, they get caught just walking around, moving slow, just talking to, talking and not working and working in groups and getting missing and, you know, clocking in and leaving and coming back and they're going to figure it out. You're going to have a lot easier time because it's so easy to get promoted at Walmart if you just work. Now, if you work by yourself and you work, it's going to be a no-brainer. Trust me, it's going to be a no-brainer. They're going to pull you to the back. You're going to be doing other stuff while people are in the front and you'll just be on a better career pathway if you're just always working. So, those are my top five tips I got for you for working at Walmart third shift. Number five, don't steal. Number four, work by yourself. Number three, don't go to sleep. Number two, leave the opposite sex alone. And number one, always work. Until the next video, it's your boy Zay. Make sure y'all drop that like. Hit the subscribe button. Until the next video, appreciate y'all, man. Peace.